as you know, the dads out there, you think, what do you want in a son-in-law? This is my daughter. My daughter. So the first thing that comes to mind for me is you want somebody who's strong. It's got to be sweet. It's got to be kind, generous. Just make good decisions, be responsible. I want him to be forgiving. Yeah. So, where's Tyler? Our friendship began 15 years ago at Carmel Middle School. Both of us were new students trying to navigate our way into a class of 400 eighth graders. Our eighth grade friendship was short-lived when we parted ways for our high school years. Olivia went on to Carmel High School, where unbeknownst to her, her future husband was down the hall working on his show choir performances. <laughs> Fast forward four years to her freshman year at IU, and as fate would have it, our paths reconnected at IU when we both joined Theta. Many memories were made, although none compared to December 12th, the night of Fight Out Christmas. This was the night where it truly all began for Olivia and Tyler. Little did Olivia know that being his date to a Christmas formal six and a half years ago would turn into becoming his bride tonight. I knew Tyler really liked this girl he was about to introduce his annoying and hyper little brother. Uh, he even took me aside and I'll never forget this part. He goes, Trevor, can you please act like a normal human being? <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm so lucky I had you to grow up with and look up to. He wants everyone to be the best and happiest versions of themselves. And that's how I know Olivia's the one for him. It's because he's the best and happiest version of himself with her. Liv, I know you already know this, but I'm gonna tell you again, you are truthfully marrying the best guy in the entire world. Liv, today is the day. I can't believe it's finally here. People have been asking me, what are you most excited for? And it made me think. And when I really thought about it, the wedding didn't come to mind. You did. You are what I'm most excited for. Spending every day with you. Sharing my life with you. You are everything to me. I can't imagine doing life without you. Tyler, the day we have been dreaming of for a year and a half is finally here. There were lots of things in my life that didn't make sense until I met you. You have strengthened me in my faith in the Lord because after praying for you for years and also praying that God would help make sense of what felt like a mess of a life, he brought me you. You have made me better in every aspect of my life. I love more than I can express in this note. So let's enjoy this day. It's crazy to think of how much I love you now and to know that this is only the start. I'll see you at the altar. I'll be the super handsome guy in the tux. Love, Ty. I cannot wait to see you at the altar. I'll be the one in white. Try not to blubber too much. He he. I love you so much. Love, your bride. Lord, it is a beautiful mystery how you so brilliantly designed two to become one. God, we ask you to bless this union today. I pray that they would always remember this day and take ever so seriously the promises they made before you and to one another. May their marriage flourish and be a testimony to those around them of the goodness of their God. Tyler and Olivia, based on your pledge and commitment to each other today before God and these witnesses, I now, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, pronounce you husband and wife. Tyler, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Sarsfield. Thank you. 